Hi there. I am back again. And uh, you're probably wondering, what on earth has he gotten this time? And to be honest, what I bought, I bought over a year ago. So it's not... It's not really a clear indication of my addiction because my addiction had just started when I made this purchase. So I cannot be held accountable. But here it is nonetheless. Now, you've already seen the first part of this thing. And that was, well, Big Thulu. This... is the package I got today. Oh yeah. It's a big one. Lots and lots of minis there. And we're going to explore what's in the box. Cool mini or not, Cthulhu, Death May Die. The Kickstarter. And this is just a first look video. I won't be doing any details. Although I did see on the Facebook page, some folks had some difficulties, uh, some pieces missing. So, you know, it's always a good idea when you get these Kickstarters, don't be like me. Actually open the games. Yeah, and use them. <laughs> it's craziness. Problem is, my backlog, I'm still using, or still painting on uh, the old Dungeons and Dragons board games. I mean, this is Legend of Dritz stuff here. And I bought that like two years ago. Okay. So I got a two year backlog, so I might get to this stuff in a couple years. All right. Uh, like a dummy, I got everything. So. Here's the Black Goat of the Woods expansion. Let's have a nice close look at it. Oh boy. It's not a big box, but I think there's like, you know, Shub Negaroth or her avatar, the Black Goat. And, oh, it says right here. So one Black Goat. And... Six Dark Young. So, and I believe that was $25. $25. So, I mean, you know, bargain of the century? No. Terrible? No. Now, one thing I've noticed about these board games the dice. You can never listen. These extra sets of dice are nice. I know they're just D6s. But, I mean, who wants to translate one through six to whatever this is? Not me. So, a couple extra sets of dice. Nice. Okay. Now, I don't know. One of those sets of dice is supposed to be frosted. And let's pull it out of the bag. Cause... So, I got two extra sets. One set's frosted, one is not. So, let's see if we can tell the difference. And you can. You can tell the difference. It's it's kind of a fake marbly kind of here. You can see it. I mean, it's it's more subtle than you'd expect, but it's definitely there. So there's that extra dice. Woohoo! So you know, there's a little randomness to this game, <coughs> apparently. So we got that. And randomness isn't necessarily bad, as long as it's mitigated by choices, right? You wouldn't want a completely random game, would you? All right. Now. This is a lot of excess packaging. Um, the Scarlet Promo piece. Not sure why that means a whole big box, but let's find out what's inside. Ooh, it's officially an opening video. Okay. This came with season two. 
So here she is. This is season two's uh, ki only Kickstarter exclusive. Let's see if we can get a better shot of the mini itself. Okay, well, we can do all this. All right. There we go. There's the mini. And here's her little backstory. And it reminds me, have you guys ever seen Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom? I'm sure that's not who this is supposed to be. It's probably supposed to be Betty Davis. No, but anyway, it's irrelevant. It is Scarlett Hayes. And she appears to be some kind of lounge singer or performing artist. Very cool. Now you'll notice, I remember when the Kickstarter was going on, everybody was complaining. All they're doing is giving us more survivors and not enough monsters. But here's my thing. As someone who plays, um, or wants to play, as I've mentioned many times, my players only want to play D&D, &D, but I do buy these other games. Um, anyway, that's pretty cool. I don't know about all the packaging for it, but it's, it's cool. It's cool. That's cool. Alright, so yeah, I want to play things like um, the old uh, Call of Cthulhu game, you know, role-playing game, you know, where you're, it's all a percentage dice kind of thing, pressure luck kind of game. Anyway, here is, here is the unspeakable box. Now this contains, hold on, this contains all of your Kickstarter exclusives. So let's have a look at what's inside. Oh boy. So all these Papa, Shango, and Maki, and all these, everyone you see here, these are all Kickstarter exclusives, okay? You do not get these with the uh, commercial version, the retail version. You can't, you can't have it. Okay, this is the stuff the the people who backed got. Now, I've heard people argue against this, and there are some companies that don't do it, like uh, Peterson Games. They don't do Kickstarter exclusives. Okay, they feel it takes away from the game. Okay, I don't know. I know that people who uh, did the Conan game especially said that, yeah, the Kickstarter version was amazing, but the retail version was not so great. I don't know. I haven't played it. I do own the retail version. I didn't know what Kickstarter was when that game came out. I wish I did. Um, but, yeah. Oh, by the way, if you want, tell me in the comments. We can do an unboxing of some of these games I got still in the wrapper. Um, you just tell me which ones uh, tickle your fancy. And I'm willing to open my good board games for your viewing pleasure. All right. There's your Kickstarter exclusives. It's called the Unspeakable Box. Okay. Moving right along. This is season two. The expansion. Um, pretty exciting. Um, so, season two, the expansion has no exclusives, but it does come with the Scarlet Mini, although it's in a separate box. Okay. Here's what you get in this one. A lot of cool minis. Um, here's a list. So, yeah. 27 minis. Now, as I recall, this box was not a steal. I don't remember what it cost, but I want to say it was $49. But, it, you know, it's got some more adventures if you like the game, which one day maybe I'll play. Yeah. Season 2 expansion. All right. Now that other box there, that's got your Yog sothoth in it. Yog sothoth Pretty cool. Although, 
from what I gather, the actual sculpt isn't Yogg-Sothoth, it's actually an avatar, a uh, character from one of the novelizations made by, well actually he didn't write novels, he wrote uh, like pulp fiction shorts, but um, anyway, uh, the character, it looked like that, uh, well, let's say his name was Ratley or something. Anyway, I don't recall the exact name. I'm not a big HP Lovecraft aficionado, even though I do have all the miniatures. Um, I do like the concept. I like the theme. This is the actual game, guys. It is, by a by good portion, the biggest box. So that's that's probably a good sign. So, Death May Die by Eric M. Lang. And I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Davio. Rob Davio. I'm sure they're both great guys. Mr. Lang is very famous, I know. Um, here are your minis. This is your base game. You're going to have Cthulhu. You're going to have... Uh, let's see here. All kinds of cool stuff. Where to even begin? Um, okay. So that's the yellow sign guy. Um, Sithonians. Um, fire vampire. Shoggoths. Bayaki. Star spawn. Oh, it even says what they are here. No, it says two elder ones, so it doesn't tell you what they are. Anyway. There you go. Yeah. Uh, got some cool, cool cultists. So that's always fun. Um, yeah. Anyway. Haster, that's the name of that one, Haster. Haster, Cthulhu, and, uh, yeah, all your, all your basic coolies from the HP Lovecraft mythos. And when you put it all together, you've got quite a collection of minis for C C Call of Cthulhu. Or if, say, you play uh, Cthulhu Wars and you want to change it up, you can uh, throw some of these in. Um, I do also have, as you know, Big Cthulhu, which I'm going to go ahead and just to show you how much it dwarfs everything else. Adventure for Big Thulu. Yeah, quite honestly, Big Thulu doesn't really fit in. I'm not going to get the wings, but. There we go, guys. This is. It's almost laughable, honestly. Big Thulu. <laughs> is really really big anyway i hope you find all the miniatures of your dreams while you're awake okay i want you to have an amazing day and don't blame me if you don't find what you're looking for because it's not my fault thank you for watching let me know what you want to see in videos future videos in the comments section all right take care